How's it going? Hello, fellow YouTubers. It's Jesus. Hit that subscribe button. We need a new boat. <laughs> So what do we got going on today besides cleaning up the shop finally? I want to play the cat the uh, plasma cutter on wheels. I'm tired yep. of it being in my way. That makes sense. Yeah, we're gonna drain it. We're gonna drain the table out today, clean all the scrap out of it and get it cleaned up, right? Yep. And then put some casters on it so we can roll it around. So we picked up some casters from Home Depot. And we're gonna cut out some brackets to fit that, yep. fit the casters. Yep, we got some uh, some base plates that'll that the caster can bolt to with a uh, insert that'll just go up into the existing leg. So once we get it emptied out, we'll take a wrench or a hammer or something and just pop those base feet off. Hopefully, with the insert still attached. If not, we'll take a screwdriver and pop them out of there. And what, what plate are you using? Uh, eighth inch. Just okay. Eighth inch steel. Eighth inch plate. Yep. All right, let's do it. So we're going to do four bases. So what I want to do is I'm going to turn this on a 90. And then we're going to do a pattern. So it's going to be four rows. And one column there we go we're going to set the origin back here and then now we're going to line up with the corner yeah you know about a quarter inch in on both sides okay come toward me up oh, back a little bit because you're at your limit that's good there and then come in just Toward you a little bit. All right, that's good. Okay. Cut the brackets right now. This is the base plates right okay. now. Okay. Base then plates. I'll cut the uh, cut the inserts next. So we got four of these coming up. All right. Try and do the same thing here. I'm gonna see if I can do this 90, and then I'm gonna do a pattern and do four by two. Generate. Okay, we're gonna set the origin up here, and then we're gonna move this. You need eight of those? Yep. Each one takes two. Okay. So. So we have to weld them up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's clean them up real quick, and then, uh, and then they just slide into them, into each other. Maybe. Yeah, just need to clean them up.
So we're gonna square it up like that and then weld the plate on top of it. Yeah. Just like that. That's gonna fit in the leg perfectly. Yeah. With, with no manual persuasion. Yeah, I don't like yeah. that gap. Mm -hmm. I see how he does it. from the plasma table dog what is that is Man. that a beer foul oh what happened that you should go beer <laughs> we don't have enough of for me to chug for every foul my bad for that'll work my yeah, bad for yeah. talking shit on somebody's design <laughs> works all right my bad bro what? Get in there nice and deep like. Get in there nice and deep like. Ready? Yep. Start easing down. 
if you can. Yep. Got it. Yeah, that was a fit right there, buddy. If we need to, we'll, uh, we'll just make some forks, fork shims. Okay. Like this amount yeah. of uh, 14 gauge. And that's down. There it goes. Did you hear it? Yeah. All right. All right. What do you want me to do about a plasma cutter show? I guess let's see what we got. Let's see. I mean, we can design one real quick or. All right, so we got the Crossfire Pro up on casters, four inch casters from Home Depot, and it moves around freely now. Next step is to get a laptop stand. We're gonna put it right there on the corner, and then get the plasma up off the ground and get us get a stand so we can just free move this wherever we need to go. And the only other thing is uh, the table is at a level and we're thinking it's the ground. So hopefully whatever, wherever we push this, it'll be level. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Adios.